I am indeed deeply honoured um, today to receive the Alaska Foundation Award. A moment, uh, perhaps, to reflect on the twists and turns in life that brought me to this fortunate position. One of the first, uh, rather clear in my mind, uh, dates to the Lancaster Royal Grammar School for Boys, um, <laughs> circa 1970. Uh, I, I was a tolerable uh, schoolboy chemist, and uh, following the career of some distant relative, uh, I was uh, keen to study uh, industrial chemistry. Um, one day, the ethereal but formidable headmaster appeared in the chemistry laboratory, uh, summoned me uh, to one side, and said, uh, Ratcliffe, I think you should study medicine with disarming serenity. I said, uh, yes, sir, with um, decisively. And uh, without further thought, the university application papers uh, were changed um, accordingly. Um, to this day, I don't really know whether he felt I would be a good doctor or a bad chemist. <laughs> Uh, but um, it, the moment sticks with me uh, as a reminder of the importance of serendipity in a scientific career, at least in mine. Um, I did train in medicine uh, as a kidney specialist and came to this research uh, rather late in, in uh, my career, fascinated by the extraordinary sensitivity with which the kidneys regulate the hormone erythropoietin to regulate red uh, blood cell uh, production. I, I felt that the problem was interesting, uh, conceivably uh, tractable, uh, and there was, uh, as you've heard, a new opportunity for study uh, with the cloning of the uh, erythropoietin gene. Uh, but some people felt, um, with the emerging success of recombinant and erythropoietin, that understanding how the hormone was regulated was a niche area, unlikely to be of very general importance, and they advised me accordingly to study something else, or this as a sideline if I must. Uh, that changed when we uh, tried to use what I thought was a really beautiful method. It doesn't really fit with uh, my striptease uh, analogy. Uh, expression cloning. We, we want to go straight <laughs> in, realizing the film's competitive. Uh, th this means um, the transfer of the property, oxygen sensing, that's where we wanted to get, um, uh, from one cell, which uh, made erythropoietin and obviously had it, uh, to another uh, that didn't make erythropoietin and didn't have the oxygen sensing property, or so we thought. And to our astonishment, we found that the recipient cell already had that property. Indeed, every cell that we looked at, to our astonishment, uh, had it. Um, that, of course, destroyed that beautiful expression cloning experiment I so desired, but opened a new horizon, the general importance of this uh, system. So uh, slightly to my uh, disappointment, um, we never did, like, many in this audience a beautiful expression cloning experiment. Uh, rather, as uh, Mike outlined, we, we fumbled our way uh, through the dissecting the various stages um, with others here and others not here um, uh, to the oxygen uh, sensor. Uh, a beautifully simple system. Um, but every turn was a surprise. The general operation uh, and the mode of operation were, were un, un, entirely uh, unforeseen. Uh, nor did we ever think um, that the oxygen sensing enzymes would be a classical uh, drug target. So n now, the therapeutic modulation uh, of the oxygen sensing system is a heady uh, and exciting uh, possibility. But it's good to receive this award for basic research, because that's what it is, a piece of uh, animal physiology that 
to the best of our, our knowledge in its assembled form, evolved about 500 million years ago, uh, a, a piece of the way we work uh, that was true then, true now, and hopefully will be true um, in many years to come. That's what's so satisfying. A new medicine is indeed something we'll strive for, uh, respectful uh, of the contributions of not just scientists, but entrepreneurs, business people, so many disciplines that are required to come together to safely develop an effective drug. However, I'm here as a clinician who has enjoyed a career in basic research. A fortunate position, even more so uh, for the valued close colleagues wh whose names are in the acknowledgements and who contributed so much to the story. Thank you very much.